And now to violent crime, mental health, and substance abuse. These are serious issues Sacramento County leaders want to get a grip on. There is new data released by the Sheriff's Department showing the county has big challenges ahead to try to turn things around. That's the story. ABC 10's Conchetta Callahan is on live this morning. So, Conchetta, this report also shows urgent steps need to be taken to address domestic violence in the community, yes? Well, this report revealed a number of serious problems that are happening. Sheriff Jim Cooper says that things need to be done differently to address these issues. And we're talking about urgent issues like violent crimes, mental health, substance abuse, domestic violence. And the most alarming numbers that this report revealed, sexual assault that is happening to homeless people, more than half of those cases are going unreported very troubling. The majority of those sexual assaults we're talking about right there are unhoused versus unhoused. And to see these numbers and to know that it's vastly underreported by two or three times, I mean, that's high, significantly higher. And, and some women aren't going to admit to it because they've got to live there. They, they've got to live with their attackers. Well, the sheriff's office started keeping better records about homeless incidents this year and released some of their findings. New numbers released by his office collected over the first seven months of this year shows his homeless outreach team contacted 926 people, removed 850,000 pounds of trash, 602 citations were issued, 221 people were arrested for a misdemeanor, 103 for a felony, and 22 of them were registered sex offenders. So that's very scary, and 158 cars were towed. My job is to provide law enforcement for the county. I'm doing that, whether you're housed or unhoused. And it has to, it has to be that way. I don't let politics interfere in this. Yeah, homelessness is a pretty complex issue. Uh, Sheriff says, Sheriff Cooper says that we talk about housing the homeless, finding appropriate housing for them, but we also really need to address the mental health issues, the substance abuse that surrounds all of this so that we can better combat those violent crimes, those sexual assaults, and the domestic violence that's happening within these communities. Yeah, Sheriff Cooper's been very upfront, Conchetta, saying, you know, you could find housing for all the homeless, and they're still going to be big problems on the street. So finding housing for all is not the cure-all in this situation, nor in any city situation that's dealing with this. So glad you're on that story today uh, out at the Sheriff's Department. Conchetta, thank you.